Today we're going to go ahead and change the oil. On this 2019 Subaru Outback with a 2.5. I used to do this for years on a car ramp before we moved in here and it had this pit on it. All right, welcome down in the pit with me. So right now I got my wrench, 14 millimeter on it. And I got the catch pan, which is literally just an old one that I cut the side out of. And then now we got up here, you can see the bolt. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the phone down, but I'm gonna turn this and keep pressure on it until I'm, you know, the threads are loose and then I'll pull it off and then it'll shoot the oil out and start draining. Everything is draining down good. You can see the panton's getting full. So we're just gonna let that drain for a while. While the oil is draining out, this is your fill plug. So what you wanna do is actually crack this open and let it sit so that way it's not airtight because now we gotta get this off too. But what we wanna do is make sure we try to get as much of this to drain down. And you can see here, this is the, the drain plug that we took out. Inspect your little crush ring here. If you have to, There's this little crush ring should be replaced whenever you're putting it back in. You can see I got this all cleaned up here. So now I got my new crush ring here. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, basically just slip it over. So now that's ready to go for when I go to reinstall this. So we'll put that off to the side here. And I can see I still have a little bit dripping down. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that finish. All right, oil and preference is gonna be kind of up to you. I mean, I had a K&N filter on here. I'm going with a Fram is my new one. I'm using a Castrol Edge, but you wanna make sure to match the vehicle's, you know, manufacturer's recommendations for this. So make sure you know how much and what kind you need to put in these. Get this twisted off. But what I usually do is I take the new filter out and I'll put it off to the side somewhere. That way when I take this one out, I'll take it out, flip it upside down, put it in here so the open end is up. So I'll go ahead and take this off and get it up on here and I'll show you the next step. And if you look, it'll tell you on here what kind of oil you need. What you can do is you wanna make sure this gasket right here is on here. So if you try to put two gaskets on, it's gonna leak. Before you put your new one on, get a little oil on your finger and basically just get the gasket wet with the oil. But make sure you don't drop anything down inside of this thing. But, you know, I usually just get some paper towels, go around, because I don't like a dirty engine. And you can see, I can just go around and clean everything up. And I'll go through a couple of these. All right, how you clean this up is gonna be up to you. Uh, like I said, I'm a little OCD, so I like to be, you know, a little bit more than I need to. Taking these and getting a little bit of oil from the old one on the gasket. So you can see it's kind of wet all the way around. All right, another way you can do that is just literally put some oil on your finger, put it on there, and then literally you're just gonna twist this back on. Okay, it made contact there. So now it's against, but that's not good enough. So you wanna go a little bit more and you only wanna do this by hand. Don't use a wrench to put these on. It should only be hand tight because once it gets hot, it's gonna get tighter. So when I go to take this off the next time, it's gonna be a lot tighter than it was. Now we're good up here. So this, like I said, is still loose. I can take this away so I don't have to worry about spilling that. Okay, you can see we're basically done. I can see a drip occasionally here, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the plug back in. Plug, where is it? There it is, it's sitting in, it's not tight yet. So now we're gonna get the torque wrench out and we're gonna go ahead and tighten that back down. As far as the torque specs on your oil plan plug, really look in your owner's manual. Now that we have that all done and torqued, we're just gonna go ahead and wipe up any residual oil that may have spilt around the area. Now the oil I'm gonna leave here, then when I back the car out, it'll be exposed and it'll be easier to get to. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take this all the way off. I literally use just for this and it keeps it, I keep it covered so no dirt can get into it. I use this funnel just for this purpose. That's all it's used for. So now I just gotta get my oil and start adding some in. Before I go too far with this, I wanted to show you this on the sides. Just about all jugs have this little clear spot where you can see through. Cause you can see right there, if I shake this, you can see that's where the oil level is in here. So you can see there is the four and a half quart line. So that should be the five quarts. So really what I'm gonna do initially is I'm gonna put about three to three and a half quarts in. 
So what I usually do is I use just a knuckle, pop the foil, and then make sure you pull everything from the inside out. That way none of this can fall down inside and get dumped in. All right, so now we've added, you can see um, uh, somewhere around between one and a half and two quarts left over. What now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually let this sit for a minute, then we're gonna check on our dipstick, make sure where it's at, and we'll keep doing this until it's full. Make sure your car is level while you're doing this. All right, when you first pull your dipstick out, no matter when, if it's you're just checking it normally or in for an oil change, the first time you pull this out, just wipe it clean, put it back in, then pull it out. That'll give you a more accurate reading. All right, and you can see there is like no oil on that whatsoever. All right, you can see I just added another quart. All right. You can see we're starting to get some oil in there now. All right, I haven't been showing it, but every time before I put this back in, this is getting wiped off. So it's clean going in where we are at. And we are just about perfect because you can see it right there. You can see the shine. It's just about to the hole. So I know I can't change the filter also, so that's going to take up a little bit. So I'm going to be safe. Go ahead and putting the rest of that in. So I'm going to be using the entire jug of the Castrol. But now, really all it comes down to is taking your funnel out. It's going to drip a little bit, so I usually have a paper towel handy so I can put it underneath to catch the drips. And then put your cap back on. Now, one thing I do also is I make sure to clean off around it before I put it back on and clean there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Hey, as I mentioned before, my funnel, see, this is what I usually end up doing. I actually take one of the paper towels, kind of roll it to a point, wedge it in the bottom, take another one to put in the top here. So that way, if anything does get into this, I can easily wipe it out so I don't have to worry about any contaminants throughout the entire thing. Mm -hmm.